What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, uh, we are getting slowly hammered back by the Ottomans so we need to push forward. And we're going to do that with a two-pronged assault through uh, pushing east from northern Italy. One army will go to secure Zagreb and the other will go to try and uh, subdue Vienna to hopefully really blow a hole in the Ottoman line. And we'll also want to try and probably co uh, coordinate that with an attack from Greece. But initially, the plan is to intercept. For some reason, I can't zoom in anymore. Um, to intercept this small um, Ottoman force that's taking taking position in one of my towns, and you can see it's very depleted. <clears throat> so should not cause too much of a problem. Um, so let's go take him out. So as with my. Uh, Ottoman campaign, I'm probably going to want to rush down a route. Rush down the route to get uh, a quick lime shot in order for my smaller Italian forces to be able to do significantly ugh, do significantly more, more damage to the enemy. Because right now we have a very competent and dangerous force with our advanced firing drills and advanced bayonets and so on. However, uh, there is there we, we will still take attrition fighting the Ottomans when they get into range. So we do want to make sure that we are able to do as much damage as is humanly possible. So I think I'm going to unlimber my artillery right there. Focus fire their weak guns. Did they take up one of my? Oh, they took up one of my. Yeah, they did take up one of my guns. God damn! Push up, push up, push up, because they have quick climb and I do not. They just absolutely obliterated one of my units. My artillery. Which one's there? Organ gun. Howitzers. Everyone, focus fire that howitzer. We cannot take that level of damage. No siree. So they've absolutely obliterated one of my guard infantry regiments. Those men are routing, which is good news. It's a routing across the board, but that's another potential volley of quick climb inbound. Complete mass route. So let's straighten our lineup somewhat. So we've intercepted unit of Bashi Bazooks. These guys want my, this regiment of horse to do as much damage as possible to this Israeli unit and attempt to chase down as many of their men as we can. You guys chase the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. These men are no longer firing at anything. Target our artillery to this unit of Israeli, maybe this unit of camel gunners. Do as much damage as possible. Special attention to be paid towards. No, you need to keep attacking them. We need to we definitely want to take out their 
how it's a crew. These goes into square, because the camel gunners are inbound. So you need to chase down these artillery crew. You have some Mamluks have returned, as have some Kolugu, or the, the Libyan cavalry. did break my square, which is unfortunate. So you get in there and also help try to take them out. Come on, both of my cavalry combined should be able to beat these chaps. Here comes my general's bodyguard. The infantry guard just to charge the organ gun completely. You guys pivot. Fusiliers pivot. Let's retreat from the camels. You go try to chase down that unit of Israeli. Gotta bear in mind my camels. I can outrun camels. The all my artillery to focus fire on that camel the troop. Let's line up some infantry. They will want to engage. Current regiment of fusiliers. Fire. Focus fire my artillery back onto the Israeli. Watch these guys up to engage their line infantry. Hopefully, this regiment of horse can. Oh, I, don't, I doubt they'll be able to. See, it's not this guy I want to kill, it's these guys that are that much closer to the line. Thoroughly spooked by that, by the sudden appearance of that uh, quick climb shot. I think I want my cavalry to actually go this way to intercept the camel gunners. Yep, yeah, you guys have to respond. I have to respond to my infantry that's charging up. Kill these brand spanking new line infantry. And let's get my general ready, hopefully, after he's killed these troops. The last remaining Ottoman unit is currently holding. Taken, they're going to take their return fire very poorly. Although the fusiliers aren't firing because their troops have gone into a very funky position. I don't, know, I don't quite know what this fusilier is doing. Not that it matters. Chase them down with cavalry. Halt fire here. Let's check on my... Yep, continue. There's one infantry guardsman to kill here. Now go chase down that Israeli unit. You... Go chase down those hand mortars. So now the fusiliers start shooting. Let's speed up time. There you go, 
you just got that force. You, to be honest, are going to come up here and help kill them because you've decided to go in a funny formation. You chase down the Israeli and kill as many as you can before they leave the field. These men probably might be able. To, well, they might be able to kill them if the if, if the pathfinding doesn't go funny. Yes, a much, much, much messier battle than I would have liked. So that's pushed this Ottoman troop back, and we have left cash behind to replenish this army. Then we're going to push in raid Trieste. Drop some money on fixing this building, and then also you're picking up cannons ready for your attack. These men are replenishing, but they're going to go and hit that chap before he has a chance to cause any problems. So let's also engage this other unit. Also, bearing in mind, they do have howitzers. And we are significantly... Well, we're in a dangerous position here. We don't have the... We don't have... Well, we're starting to become overmatched in firepower. Deploy my line. So the key objective here is now going to be not to advance within range of their quick line. Come on, what's... Oh, okay, it's, there's a... Uh, there's a hill. Okay, so it's group. Group my cavalry together. Everyone focus that horse artillery. Or the howitzer unit. Let's get our cavalry moving. Too bad, not a single. Was killed. Please fire round shot. Oh, big chunk of marines, line infantry. Let's come take out these Mamelukes. Push forward into musket range and also close enough that you don't have to worry about fire by rank keep pushing forward to fire deadly Musketry into enemy into the enemy forces. So we've got to run the flank, we've knocked them off balance. You guys stay where you are, because you can fire onto the Delhi horsemen. as many Mamluks as you can, but they get in, get in position ready to attack enemy forces. These men firing my rank doing okay. You get in position to attack the 
the infantry, you attack the fellow musketeers. Those men have formed square, so just get away from them. Because we can just run up infantry to deal with them. But instead, chase down their routing troops. We have killed their artillery unit, which is good. Okay, I might pivot these guys to engage the square. Charge the heavy cavalry into the Janissary Musketeers. We want to try to get these guys around to attack Thaleen. We've been hit by the unit of Delhi Horsemen. Good, and the cavalry's fallen back. Push it up. Can you guys kill your troops, please? Three, two, one. Okay, let's pull the heavy cavalry back because their infantry is about to get in, into position to fire onto them, so I don't need to charge them and hold them up with the cavalry. Move these men into position. They're going to hit my infantry and we're going to charge them bring our general back quickly damn right we're going to continue we need to prevent as many men as possible from rejoining their forces So we want to make sure we're doing as much as we can to wipe them out. Fortunately they're going to exit the field. Come on, charge them down, kill them, eviscerate them. any of these men making it back to their formation. Damn right. It was dodgy, but one good how it's a shot of quicklime can do a lot of damage. So these men need to need to replenish. Okay, so I need quicklime. Eight turns. So let's build some howitzers to resupply this army when it's needed. Venice is recruiting artillery. To push or to, to rebalance their army. Okay, you're okay. Can't repair the cloth mill because it's so expensive, but can upgrade these wineries to try and produce more income for Naples. Good, okay. Can't get any more tech until I upgrade Bologna. But that's really expensive and we can't really afford that level of uh, investment. Because right now, two to upgrade that university is two entire turns of revenue. We've got to be really careful because Sweden is the preeminent power in Europe. It looks like Russia's had a... Not Russia. The Ottomans have had a revolution in Jerusalem. 
But we still need to make hay in the Balkans. There you go, these men are now armed with artillery. So you guys march up ahead. Put Zagreb under siege. They're getting reinforcements from somewhere. You men march up. Let's take a scout of Vienna. Oh, that's a lot of men. Okay. Let's drop three more units of line infantry just to follow up. Keep these units somewhat together. Send a ship to have a look at Istanbul. It's got a garrison. Not growing in strength, but it is possible to push. And potentially just to go, just put them under sea. Oh no, marines! No, not. Okay, bring them all up. Put them under siege. Trundle the houses up with them, or behind them. Move up some line to help them out. We have no religious unrest in Petras, so let's get our priest over here into Istanbul just to slightly start to convert the population over to our way. And they are they're suffering from bankruptcy, which is good to know. This army we can replenish. Seven turns till quick line. Let me see, major nations. You yeah, know, very friendly with Sweden, we're trading. Can't al ally with them because they're allied with the Ottomans. Spain. Peace and trade. Nope. Russia. Peace and trade. Not the Ottomans. Britain. Peace and trade. Don't want to give them anything because the AI can just be super uncooperative. Replenish this. We're going to go down to 3,000 gold a turn. Let me move you a bit closer because we're likely to have a giant battle over here, which would be very, very critical. So if they do push, I am not afraid to fall back if, if, it, is, if it is available at all. I don't like that one bit. Don't, don't blockade me, Spain. <sighs> so now I'm probably going to be losing money this turn, all because Spain has blockaded my ports. Okay, it looks like... A large battle may be about to happen. Yep, they're sending they're sending troops down towards Greece, as I have left the city unprotected. But I need to I need to attack somewhere. I can't just sit here and defend defend my territory because that'll I'll never get anything for that. Oh, okay, I'm definitely dead. I'm so dead. Sweden's going to come sail around and blockade my port, so I have no trade, as is, as is a tradition. Oh no, they're not. Unless that is now the time. Do I make pe <clears throat> do I make peace with the Ottomans and focus on the Swedish? Send a rake to go investigate Paris. Trade route raided. Yeah, I'm absolutely bankrupt. So four fourths and a second. Yeah, that'd be enough. Firstly, have they left? Then left. 
even then, taking Vienna is not necessarily helpful. Because it, oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of tax. Five grand. So you're going to put try put them into siege. You're going to fall back to Greece. You are probably going to stay where you are. But I might move these guys over to Venice. You are going to march towards Venice, because why not? Trade it raided. Military technology far in advance. Not so important now. Um, keep going down the industry route. And then let's take my navy, such as it is, over here and try and capture these Spanish ships. Let's take them out. So second ray up front. Probably start off something like that. Understandably, they've decided to sail behind the rear of my formation, but I don't want to move yet because my plan will be to snake this, the, snake these guys around like this. But I don't want to move. If I do that, <coughs> if I do that, there's a chance that they will just rebalance or re, it will shift their focus. But I'm going to want to move something like there. Something like that. Because the other fast ship... We've got a damn sight and more firepower behind us. See if let's see if the captain of the ship will die. Because he's not he's not retreating. Okay, good. So it is It's gone the way I would like. Say that I've at least got my ships in a position where they can fire, and they're not gonna. I was concerned they might then turn this direction to try and keep harrying the rear of our fleet, but that's not happened. And soon, battle will be joined. Fortunately, with us. Ooh. With us having the more having more firepower than the enemy. There we go, our second rates started the action. They quickly came my throat for a second, because that was a bit of a weird voice inflection. do broadsides but there isn't really a need to do it right now I'm just letting these ships just pounding each other could definitely do with probably turning more into the wind in order to try to offset uh, any problems to do with speed Okay, now let's start to uh, under the assumption that they will catch up. 
which they probably will to my to my second room. Okay, slightly pivot you. I'm just going to play a uh, play at an increased speed, mainly because why the hell not? But I'm probably going to end up disembarking these guys and getting them to keep sailing rap as fast as they can. Keep your broadside going. Get quite an aggressive pivot going. So I want them. One doesn't need to just need to move. He just needs to turn. All of you guys. Sail at full sail. Yeah, you can start blinking with chain shot now, even though they've put quite a few holes in, into the uh, sail of San Cosmo, Cosimo. But there can always be more holes in a sail. The Admiral's dead, he was up the mast. Mac collapsed. Good. Keep my second rate sailing. We may end up actually being able to get ahead of this fourth rate. Pivot these jets to both engage this fourth rate to the rear. So fire all your guns. These guys to all engage the war galleon. This chap can just sit here and just pound shots into San Cosimo. He's just in range of another. Oh, this guy has no broadside left. No guns left. Just fire at will, though. Try course an upset. So you're routing, we can send hold damage, and you are going to sink. Second rate to haul ass, turn it sideways and engage the galleon with a long range broadside. I suppose it's because he can't get his backside out too far because of the, uh, the mast. Okay, 
and just speed up time for this last uh, this last engagement. Another volley. Yeah, we're going to continue. No, just fly with round shot. Round. When they're routing, round. When they're routing, yeah, they will surrender to round shot fire. But that's opened up our port. No, I'm going to take the, the money, please. Ordini. See, Capitan. I'm going to spend a bunch of it to keep our ships going. We're still. Minus 4,000. Diplomacy. Major nations. Ottomans. Quest peace. Trade. They don't like us. Okay, so that's helped us out a bit. Ernesto. Defendi. Let's combine... Yeah, I'll get rid of this provincial line because they were they've been causing me problems for a while okay let's get rid of the expat infantry let's get rid of this unit of line infantry we've still a long way to go all because they are absolutely tearing our overseas investments apart Well, I guess this army, or these armies, the majority of them just have to go. You have to push. Got to push somewhere. We can't fight against the Ottomans. And the Swedes... That was an interesting development. That's a very interesting development. So let's get rid of these mortars, don't need them. Diplomacy, okay, let's try and. So we can't ally with an ally of our enemies because they're allied with Spain, I suppose. Okay. Let's pick up a galley. You are going to go straight over here and attack Madrid. So we've lost trade with Sweden, but we've got it back. Peace with the Ottomans. And we've also got peace with the Swedes. And trade with the Swedes as well. But we need to go over and attack someone don't attack Cagliari because it's not worth it for such a small amount of cash especially for the amount of fighting we're going to have to do North Africa might not be bad but there's a bit of a problem around retention actually can I just bring this brig over you're going to march in there you're going to march You're probably going to come over with them. Trouble is, you need armies everywhere at the end of the day. So if I can go over and break Spain's back, that'll get us a bunch more trade income. A bunch more um, tax income. My main hope is that we can persuade, hopefully, that Sweden will declare war on another major power and leave us alone. But the problem is, is they're allied with everyone. They're allied with everyone in Europe. So I think right now we are... We are... Uh, not, not pissing in the wind, exactly, but we are... We may potentially be delaying the inevitable. 
So let's hope we can get straight into Cartagena. Yes. Deposit. The army. Army. March on Madrid. Aha, there is already an army here. Oh, you can't. Oh, that's frustrating. So I have to move him into Venice. Then out of Venice, but can I move him into this port? And can I sail? Do I have the range? I do have the range. Deploy the army. Also, push up. So we have to knock these guys out first. Then we're going to hit Madrid. Oh, does one army go? Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Enough decisions to hang yourself. Especially when this guy is on his way down. Five turns until we get the next tech. I think here I'm going to recruit a unit of marines. Maybe two marines in case they turn on us. The Ottomans turn on us as is tradition. You stay where you are. You join up with them. So let's take this small navy and you go raiding. Because that will get us a decent bit of cash. So there's the British. They've got a lot of troops depend defending such a poor... Such a poor... Uh, part of the map. Part of the world in general. So we're raiding. Crude galley which we've used to ferry troops. Got some wine estates. Still can't repair this. Okay let's go back and spend some money fixing my last fourth rate ship of the line. Because ideally if we can take Spain, Lisbon and Gibraltar well, to be honest, if we take this Iberian Peninsula, I could A, start to clear the Brits out of North Africa and also start to fight a bit more of a front against the Ottomans, not well, the Ottomans, the Swedes. Good. They've decided to move a bunch of their armies north and give up the river position. So all this time, what I'm thinking about is the fact that it gives me time to research quicklime, really. French, Re French Rebellion. You can see that's a lot of Swedish troops. But let's hope that we can keep... Let's hope that the civil unrest at home can cause enough problems. The Mughals are moving up against the Ottomans, hopefully. Well, they're moving up against Persia in the minute, it looks like. Punch card loom. Good. More national income and because no one seems to want to stop me from raiding i might do it again just a fifth rate so i don't really care okay now we're financing our financing our progress purely on okay lots of mortars lots of junk question is, do I send them south just to take Gibraltar? Or do I send them west to take Lisbon? Because that would completely gut 
That would completely gut Spain of any, like, spending power. Or do I march these guys north to intercept anyone who may attempt to relieve the siege? It's probably a good idea. So we're raiding. Let's add another four. Let's get some more ships for our raiding fleet. Still can't afford that. I may end up... Let's recruit a fifth, so I still have enough. I should have enough. No, I don't. Prepare the cloth mill, and we're probably going to assault the city. We're going to do this. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Madrid. So hopefully we can uh, make some real gains against one of our enemies. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.